Hey, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today I have the Parrot Bebop Drone and Sky Controller. Now this uh, drone actually has a stabilized camera and it's a 1080, so we're shooting in HD, really, really cool. And the cool thing about the Sky Controller is it's a really advanced controller. Now you can control this drone um, with just the, the phone as the controller, but it doesn't go that far. The Sky Controller, puts in uh, at least two kilometers. When I take it out of the box, you'll see the antenna on it. Really, really cool. And then the phone actually acts like a first person view of the video footage. But I'm gonna go ahead, just open it up real quick because this is gonna be our first flight. Now, a really cool thing about this also, um, you know, you can take photos as well. So that's a 14 megapixel camera. And then right here, I have the batteries that I charged already. It comes with three batteries. I have two right here, one for the drone and one for the controller. And uh, here's the drone right here. We have the lens cap on currently. And there's some extra propellers in here, which I'm not gonna need right now. And then we also do have our bumpers, which actually the bumpers uh, just simply connect or foam. And this is if you're gonna be flying anywhere where you don't wanna uh, damage the propellers or going through trees or uh, if you're indoors. So we got that. Here's the sky controller. As you see, that's the wireless Wi-Fi antenna right there giving you up to two kilometers of distance where you can control it. And a bunch of other stuff. We have our record button, we have our home button, um, and then our very uh, good precision controls. And then we have our signals, battery levels, everything, we can watch it right there. So uh, we have that set. And then we have a couple other things here, like you saw in the other video. This is just a view box, uh, something to put the iPad in. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set it up, and we're gonna get ready for our first flight. We're just gonna hook up the neck strap here. So now I have it all strapped and it's not gonna go anywhere. That way I can let the controller go if I need to for any reason. Next I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna install the battery on the Sky Controller. Same battery setup as the actual drone itself. And it just slides into place, or hopefully. There we go. That's all set there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna install the phone. You can use a smartphone or a tablet. And the tablet, there's an area for it right here, and this will uh, go up and down. Or you can do the phone in this area, which is the smaller slot. So that's what we're gonna use for right now. And then you just undo this, and it's gonna slide out. Okay, so I installed the smartphone. Um, instructions weren't very clear on that, and I think this is right. Um, there's a rubber piece here and a rubber piece at the bottom. So after we slid the Wi-Fi antenna out, we just kind of sandwiched it and then tightened it down. Um, it's, it's pretty good in there. Uh, I'm not 100% satisfied with that. I think it should be a, a little bit better. And I'm not too sure what this other attachment is because there's one on here, but it is slightly larger. So I'm guessing it's for a different size tablet. Maybe you have like the smaller iPad mini or a smaller Android or between, you know, maybe a, a full iPad. So that's most likely what it's for. But now we have that all set. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, open up the, the app right now. Only problem with this phone is that the power button and screwing button is on the back. So it makes it a little bit difficult because this actually blocks it a little bit. Not a big deal. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I just started up the phone and I'm gonna launch Free Flight 3, which that's the Parrot application right there. And that way you can actually uh, map out your flights and more. So once that's all set, I go ahead, we're gonna turn on the Sky Controller. So it's on. So I launched the application and now what I wanna do is we're gonna go into the Wi-Fi settings. So the Sky Controller connected. So 
So what I had to do is right here is the power button. You just hold it in. It uh, starts to blink, and then you hear almost like a fan sound. It might be the gyro inside. I don't know, but um, it starts up, and then once it is started, the sky controller is all set, and then we see free flight. And now we're gonna have to just calibrate real quick. So we're gonna go ahead, click the button. It says do an access roll. So all right, so it just and then now we're gonna do um it says the y-axis, which is this. So just do that. And then we're gonna do the x-axis, which it all shows you actually right on the screen. So now it's all calibrated. So right here you see it has a live feed from the actual drone right there. There we are, my assistant, myself, hello. And it's getting ready to go. So let's uh, hook it up and we're gonna give it a try. So we, clack, we had to click the takeoff button so it makes a nice little takeoff right there. And then, um, we have our up and down. Now I'm watching this on here and trying to watch the drone at the same time. I know you're supposed to watch it, but it is a little delayed. It definitely seems like it's a little delayed on, on the camera itself, but you see pretty much how steady it is. I'm not even holding it right there. So it is very, very steady. Very easy to fly, especially with this sky controller. It is a little odd getting used to, um, you know, watching it and actually just watching here. So if you're two kilometers out, you gotta make sure that you understand that uh, it's actually gonna be a little jumpy. So you see right here, I'm just gonna turn it. I wanna do uh, actually a test shot for like shooting if you were to do it some real estate, see how that works. Beautiful. It's getting a little darker out, so it's getting a little bit harder to see on the screen where that actually visor might come into play and be a little helpful. Let's go see out here. Now, just so you know, there are some hot areas on here. Actually, physically hot. This area down here, there's are also some uh, markers that say it is hot. So when you pick it up, do be careful. Uh, really, really uh, easy to fly for the most part. It takes a little bit of time to get used to uh, looking at the monitor, especially if you can go far, farther away. Uh, kind of recommend get started with you know doing flights where you're actually watching it. But really, that was a lot of fun to fly. Uh, I have another battery ready to go, so let me just go quickly change that out, and we're going to do another quick flight. So now we did our first flight and that was actually without the foam bumpers. Like I said, you would use these if you're flying through areas that might hit something where you might damage the propellers um, or if you're flying inside. So right here is the foam bumper and we're going to just do this and snap it right in place. Got a secondary battery that's ready to go. So it just snaps really easily. It's really just light plastic. So also be careful with that. You don't want to snap them. Although Parrot does have tons of replacement parts if you need it. Comes with some extra propellers. So really you don't have to worry too much about it. And I wish there was actually uh, some better um, graphics and information, you know, that came with the booklet and the instructions. Uh, some of the buttons on the Sky Controller, I'm kind of confused. I watched one of the videos that was actually on these, uh, the Free Flight app and it only showed a couple things, but really not enough. So now I have uh, the next battery, which is right here, and it's gonna be ready to go. 
hopefully. Go ahead, we're gonna plug that in. Not as hot anymore right now. And now, another really cool thing with this is actually you can uh, program your flight, and which is gonna be another video I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try that out. But you can actually program your flight and put in your pinpoints and your waypoints for the most part based on GPS and actually program the flight path height and where you want it to fly and click fly and it will actually go really really cool and a great way to get exactly what you want make sure you're shooting perfectly so uh, that's going to be something else you can check out in one of the other videos so let's give this a shot right now and see how it runs gonna go ahead click our takeoff button here we go So we got it running right now. So since it's getting a little darker out, it makes it a little bit harder to see, but uh, not a big deal because I'm actually flying right where I am. So we're not going out of uh, viewing distance. Still, um, it's still lagging a little bit. I gotta see if there's a way to maybe make that a little quicker, maybe the resolution can go down a little bit, or maybe it's a little bit better with like an iPad or a tablet besides the phone. But I can't really imagine that would be the case. Really dramatic shots for the most part, which is really what you want, especially if you're doing any cinematography or music videos. And um, you know, I'm watching some of these other videos online and they're shooting like over uh, a lake and water or over mountains, kind of scary, but uh, could be really really cool so let's do a so let's set the shot and then that's pretty slow which is nice too all right we're gonna go in and then we're gonna just uh, try to land it right now yeah I got our low battery alert so it's about time And there you have it. There's the Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller. We got our low battery alert. We got here just in time. And uh, that was tons of fun. I uh, really had a blast flying this. And like I said, check out some of the other videos. We're gonna do some more test footage. We're gonna do an indoor version of it uh, with the bumpers on it. And uh, we're gonna do some other really fun things with it, shoot some really cool scenery, and uh, see what we can do with it. Again, uh, this is the Parrot Bebop drone with Sky Controller. Thanks for watching. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. We'll see you soon.